Hello everybody, welcome to Wild Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. Today we're going to be talking about when you know yourself, it's easy to be yourself. When you know yourself, it's easy to be yourself. Oftentimes the reason why people are not themselves and they're portraying other people is because they really don't know who they are. And we got to know ourselves. We, we have to know our abilities, our talents, everything about who we are. Sometimes we take out the time to know about others. You know, especially when we're in relationships, we take out the time to know about that person, know what they like, know their favorite color, know what types of movies they like to watch, you know, and we, we just really, really focus our energies on figuring other people out, especially if they're in a relationship with us. But how many of you know that there needs to be a time when you sit down to figure out exactly who you are, you know, to know who you are and your qualities, good and bad, you know, and everything that you have as far as talents, gifts, and abilities uh, to sit down and just think of all of the things that you're good at. Think of all of the things that, all of the good characteristics that you have. Um, what makes you separate from other people? You know, what um, what things make you valuable? You know, thinking about those things and writing them down. There's nothing wrong with having a, a visual just to kind of show you who you are and what types of skill sets you have, what types of giftings you have, what types of abilities um, that you have and sometimes it's it's not even bad to ask other people you know like what do you like about me what are some good qualities that I have and sometimes you just need to take those things into consideration because people will see things in you that you don't even see in yourself and, and that's awesome that we're, we're able to do that. We're able to um, connect with people, especially those that are around us, that are positive, that are encouraging. And they, they won't say things to you that will uh, put you in a bad light. You know, they will draw out the, the, the good qualities and skills that you have. And, you know, even a good friend will tell you the good qualities and skills that you have. And then, you know, your best friend will tell you some things that you may want to work on, you know, as an individual. Because just as you know the good qualities that you have, those things that really tarnish you, those things that really um, stick out like a sore thumb that you need to work on to develop yourself more uh, to to become the the best you that you can be uh, requires some expertise from a good friend or someone who's who's not biased in a sense, but who knows how to draw those abilities and draw those indicators out of you to show you, okay, this is where you are, this is how you are. Let's work on it. Let's let's build ourselves. Let's let's become better, you know, the best you that you can possibly be, you know, because like I said, when you know yourself, you will become who you are. You will be who you are. You know, it's hard to play pretend. It's hard to be someone that you're not, you know, and some people waste their time in life because they're trying to be someone else when all is required is just for them to be themselves. Just be who you are and who God has called you to be, who he has developed you to be and be a good person. Be the best you <laughs> be the best you that you can be, you know. 
No one wants to pretend. No one wants to to put on a visage. No one wants to put on this mask and, and, and play this game, these games with people. You know, in this time in your life, you're like, look, I'm just trying to be me. You know, I don't, I don't have time to try to be my friend down the street or try to be this person that I emulated. I don't have time for that. You know, I have too much going on inside of me that people need to see. They need to witness. You know, they need to be encouraged and inspired by me, you know, and the best me that I can show them and reveal to them. You know, and so God made us. He made us in his image and in his likeness. And even inside of that, you know, God is so great. He's so awesome. He has so many abilities. We can't even number them. We can't even keep up with with who God is because he's just so great. He's so he's so magnanimous. And, he, you know, in the Bible, he talks about I, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. There's a reverence that, that, you know, when you talk about fear, you're fearfully made. You, you are something to be reverenced. You are something to be adored, adorned, looked at, you know, um, spotting you out from a crowd. You know, you, you're distinct. You have those unique qualities that no one else has but you, fearfully and wonderfully made. When people see you, they see a wonder about you. You know, it, it's just something about you that that draws them to you. You know, almost like a magnet. You know, when you when you when you take a magnet out and you put it against something that it attracts to, you know, you 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 have that wonder, that glow. You know, something um, that that stands out, like I said, among a crowd, um, among other people, that makes you exactly who you are you know fearfully and wonderfully made if you if you having questions and, and you're trying to figure out well hmm who am I you know and uh, do I really know myself well if you're still questioning even after you've asked friends and asked different ones go to the manufacturer go to the one who actually created you in his image and in his likeness and he will tell you exactly who you are. Spend a little time with him. He will let you know exactly who you are and those giftings that he has placed inside of you and what he would wants you to release to the world because you have a great, powerful, awesome gift to share to the world. And you just don't know how valuable you are. And God made you who you are. So... We're going back to the, the theme. When you know yourself, it's easy to be yourself. Because then you don't have to hide behind anything. You just be who you are. Just be who you are. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Because that's exactly who God created you to be. With all of your personality, with all of your your abilities, God made you that way. Don't apologize for how God made you. Stop apologizing for being who you are. Own it, embrace it, enjoy it, and just let God use you till you run out of you. <laughs> And that is our Wild Wednesday for today. I pray that you all have a blessed, fantastic day on today. Be encouraged. God loves you. And we will be back for another Wild Wednesday. All right, you all. Bye-bye now.